Welcome to Medication Monday. This is where we go over a different EMT drug that we administer out in the field. We do it specifically in EMT drug card format. As always, follow your local protocol and scope of practice. Enjoy. Today's medication is called metoprolol tartrate, and the brand name is Lopressor. It falls under the class of beta blockers, and it's specifically a beta-1 selective. It's an antidysrhythmic, and it's also an antihypertensive. So how does it work in the body? It antagonizes beta-1 receptors, causing a decrease in the heart rate, the contractility, and the conduction velocity, and overall cardiac output. Your indications are going to be paroxysmal SVT, atrial flutter, atrial fibrillation, and in some cases, acute MI. As always, before we get into dosages, make sure you abide by your protocol and stay within your scope of practice. Your dose is going to be 5 milligrams slow IV push over 5 minutes, and you may repeat it after 5 minutes up to 15 milligrams. There is no pediatric dose that's recommended. The contraindications are CHF, cardiogenic shock, second and third degree blocks, first degree blocks with a PR interval greater than or equal to 0.24 seconds, bradycardia, cardiogenic shock, and sick sinus syndrome. Some adverse reactions of low pressor can include heart failure, nausea, vomiting, bradycardia, pulmonary edema, wheezing, dysrhythmias, and hypotension. And your drug interactions are that it potentiates other antihypertensive and it masks the signs of hypoglycemia. And typically it is supplied in a 5 milligram and 5 milliliter vial. And just a few side notes about low pressor that you want to keep an eye out for. Definitely hook them up to the cardiac monitor and, and do continue continuous monitoring if you're able to because things can change very, very quickly. And just a heads up, when you do give this concurrently with a calcium channel blocker, extreme hypotension can occur from that. You want to use with caution in patients with liver or renal failure and also COPD. And just keep in mind, 3 to 10 milligrams of glucagon can help reverse a beta blocker overdose. As always, guys, remember to abide by your local protocol and stay within your scope of practice. This video is purely informational for those in the EMS field and never meant to be used in the place of professional medical advice, local protocol, or formal education. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next week. Bye!